guys. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so today we are going to do what would you do if What would you do if you couldn't feel fear anymore? Hook up with a lot of people, make a ton of money, money money from a legal business become pro in extreme sports Ooh. well none of those help because I'm not scared of any of those but don't want to be a criminal so bam hey load faster 50%. Okay, next. Don't ask. What would you do if your partner said they were transgender? Run away. Stay and support them. Stay, but secret do this. I can't talk tonight. I'm so sorry. It's only like 9 o'clock and my head's shut down already. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I would not run away because that's just mean. Stay, but secretly dislike them forever. That, why? I would stay and support them. Oh, whew, that's good. Ah. Why would 8% of people stay, but secretly dislike them forever? That's just mean. Anyways, next! What would you do if you got to pick a time period in history to visit? Would I go to ancient Egypt, Scandinavian Viking Age, or pre colonial? <laughs> Colonial Americas. Amer Americas? I think that I would want to visit pre colonial. You know, that. <laughs> Ancient Egypt is just too hot. Can't take it. What would you do if, hold on, I'm just going to set that air, stupid ad, anyways, you found out your cat is a human spying on you, ah, uh, that'd be horrible, speaking of cats, if you can hear that noise, that'd be my cat, get rid of them ASAP, oh, that's mean, Find out how you can turn into a cat, too. Use them to spy on other people. Well, I don't really want to be a cat. I got friends and a family. And a non-cat friends and family. So that wouldn't work. And get rid of them would be mean. So yeah, spy on other people. <laughs> Load. Load. Okay, whatever. Get rid of it. Who cares? What would you do if your significant other cheated on you? Confront them, but carry on with the relation. Murder them both. I'm just saying I'm pretty sure... Murder is uh, against the law, last I knew, so that won't work. Nope. <laughs> Break up with them and never speak again. Never speak again? What? Oh. <laughs> never speak to them again. That would make a lot more sense. Okay. Ah! I'd probably break up with them and never speak to them again. It's that simple. They think they can cheat on me? 
bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> who are those 12% that would murder their significant other and the person they cheated on? That's just be. That's the brightest idea. What would you do if? You are given the opportunity to change one thing about your significant other. Alter their personality. Let's hope that one of the reasons you like them is because of their personality. Alter their physical appearance. Let's hope that's another reason you like them. Decline the offer. I think I would decline the fucking offer. Because if I don't think he's that good enough, why on earth would he be my significant other? Duh. <laughs> you randomly appear in the first fictional universe that comes to mind. What would you do? Woo! Go on adventures with the main pro oh, protagonist. Darn! Anyways, accept your death. What? Team up with the antagonist. Kill good guy. Um, well, you see, even in an alternate fictional universe I'm pretty sure murder is not allowed and I don't feel like dying any time day any time day any time soon so I'd go on adventures duh oh well that's good <laughs> yeah no, thank you. What would you do if Donald Trump showed up at your doorstep? Oh, punch him. Give a jawbreaker so he chokes on it. Invite him in for a movie night. You know... Unfortunately, I think he's smart enough not to choke on a jawbreaker. So, I'll probably just punch him, you know? Right in the nose. Maybe break it. Oh, that's just bad. 33% would invite him in for a movie night. Uh, uh. Just, nope, I'm done. What would you do if you found out your partner has murdered somebody? <gasps> oh my goodness, that'd be horrible. End the rela End the relationship. Stay with them cautiously. Ask about the murder and turn them in. Mm, I'd ask about the murder and turn them in. And then, of course, end the relationship after I did that because I don't want to be dating... Or dating or being married to a person that's in jail. So, ask about the murder and turn them in. What was that? Oh, stupid. Okay, last question and then I'll see you all later. You could be a more. What would you do if you could be a mortal for... Well, you could be immortal if you did one of these things. Oh, there we go. That made sense. <laughs> Only eat the foods you hate forever. <clears throat> no one will know you exist. Oh, I'm sad and lonely. So lonely. <laughs> Kill your entire family. I don't, 
I don't want to kill my family. I like my family. Thanks anyways, but I'll just eat the f foods I forever hate, I guess. I mean, eat the... <laughs> Only eat the foods I hate forever. Not forever hate, what? Hey! Thank you all for um watching this episode episode <laughs> video uh and oh yeah you guys all probably noticed that I got my ears pierced I just got them pierced Monday so yeah it was really fun hurt a little but I really think when it comes to hurting it all depends on like what your pain tolerance is you know because like this one this only really hurt out of startlement because I didn't expect it to hurt at all that one I knew it was gonna hurt so I was like <laughs> and I think my brain partially made it hurt because I have a pretty high tolerance of pain and anyways that was not how that ending was supposed to go I'll see y'all later. Peace out. Well, not quite. Peace.